We saw that electrons behave like particles in one sense, but they behave like waves in others. We see that light behaves like waves, but light behaves like particles. This is what we, the, the exact name for this is wave particle duality. Where what we should, what we can classically think of as particles very definitely have a wave like nature to them. And what we classically, classically think of as waves very definitely have a particle like nature to them. And it all depends on whether we look closely enough at them. The closer we look, the more they appear like particles. If we don't disturb them, they appear like waves. They shouldn't be able to do both, but they do. So wave particle duality is the phenomenon whereby particles exhibit wave-like behavior and waves exhibit particle-like behavior. And, and this right here is, I think that the, we could stop the class right now and we're not going to get to anything weirder in the semester. Um, oddly enough, once we accept this to be true, everything else seems to make sense. But we've given up our, our, our hold of reality in the first place, so why not, you know? Um, but, but the whole point is that this is our, our strongest indication yet that our intuition no longer matters. What, what we have always viewed, you know, in the history of science, what we've always viewed as very clearly predictable behavior has just completely left us. And so from this point on, now we get to start thinking about, okay, screw our interpretation. Let's just mathematically analyze it. And that's exactly how we get to understand the most fundamental nature of the universe. We stop trying to think of things the way that are, makes sense to us. And we start just trusting our mathematics. And that's exactly where de Broglie's hypothesis, which is what we'll start the next lecture, uh, picks up at. De Broglie recognized, okay, we can't view particles as particles. We can't view waves as, as waves. They both exhibit the same behavior. Let's try to find some mathematical framework that allows us to view both of them as the other. And all of the mathematics that develops from that is based on what we call wave mechanics. And that's directly what the Schrodinger equation is, is based on, the wave mechanical nature of particles. So I'm going to stop here, but I think this is, I, I hope this is fascinating because this is really like the, the, the craziest, like it blew my mind to read Feynman's version of this. And so I really encourage you guys to read that too. So.